Serie A Tots is here and it is an absolute banger. I'm joined today by Footwiz Pro Nick Steb and we're going to be doing a tier list for you. Rating the best cards all the way down to the worst cards. Now let's get straight into it. Alrighty guys, so as I said before, we are joined here with Footwiz Nick Steb. Nick Steb, how are we feeling today, man? I'm all good, thanks. How, how are you doing? Good stuff. I'm good, man. I'm actually excited for this Serie A Tots because I wasn't before it came out, but they've dropped these cards and they are looking absolutely ridiculous but we're gonna get straight into it mate and we're gonna kick things off with 90 rated bremer from torino now first glance his pace is looking pretty slow for a tots card isn't it yeah i mean there's a, there, i think there should be much better options in this card um with brazilian coming out with edim and a towel which is better and also mm -hmm. some serie a center backs that um that come up soon would just be better than this card so um i'm just gonna start off with a mid tier you got mid tier to be fair i think you've been quite generous to be fair I would have probably slammed him in bottom, in fairness. I, think, I feel like he's probably a bottom for a team season card, but team seasons yeah, yeah. are always going to be like... He'll, he'll be usable, I think, but he just won't be that good. No, that, that is true, in fairness. And uh, we're going to go straight on to the centre-back. We're going to bump up two ratings. The good thing about this, Tots, is there's no low-rated cards. There's a 92-rated Skrinra. He's got a bit of pace. He's got some defensive ability. How, how do we feel about this card? What are we saying about it? Yeah, like you said, I think these Serie A cards are really, really good. Um, this card... Um, is one of them i feel like yeah i feel like he's he's good um he hasn't got like blistering pace hasn't got like blistering physicals but um i think he's a decent all-round card and he's definitely usable um oh he can't <laughs> he can't be in the same tier as bremer i think he's better than that so i'm gonna put him top top tier you're gonna put him in top tier yeah? yeah i feel like this is a recurring theme that bremer could be down there quite lonely but um there are two cards which we definitely don't want to see in our red picks that is a fact and we're going to join it with another card which you guys probably won't want to see in your red picks unless you want a keeper and that's given away it's my nan not my nan my nan and he's 92 raid what are we saying about him french good links um well i've, had, I've got a pretty funny story with my nan to be honest he's got an 88 rated card uh, which is was quite used to be fair a few months ago but mm. some of the stuff he done for me i'll never forget so um he'll be in mid tier for sure mid tier yeah, yeah. So i take it he's cost you quite a few games yeah. and you don't want to speak about yeah, it yeah you don't want to use them boys i promise <laughs> no that's fair now moving on to what our first fullback of the team and it's 93 rated juventus fullback quadrado 99 pace he's got hit stats across the board he's looking pretty juicy isn't he yeah so quadrado he's always very very good he's got five star skills which is obviously very very useful um right back he's a bit of attacking right back defending won't be too good um I feel like a couple of a couple of years ago and like last year, you used to get away with playing midfield. He might be again that year this year, so you can play him midfield cool. if you wanted to. But I feel like for an attacking fullback, he's very very good. I'm going to go top tier. Top tier. Would you recommend playing him right wing back if you're playing a free back and stuff? For sure, he'd be like one of the best options on the game, definitely. Cool, nice stuff. Well, to be fair, me personally, I'd be quite happy getting him in. I, I, I like my fullbacks, and I'll take him in a red pick. Um, next one is Kalanoglu. Kalanoglu. I think I said his name right. Um, he's all right at stats. I'll be honest. It, I'm going to be completely honest. It's, it's not very overwhelming, his guard. No, I'm not at all. Um, I feel like his dribbling the passing is good. Um, but mm -hmm. just with his like physical, so his pace, his defending physical, it's not, not that good, to be fair. So I'm going to put him in mid-tier. Mid-tier, yeah. Brilliant stuff. Now, moving on to some high-rated cards. We've got some 94-rated cards to speak about. A couple of centre-mids as well. He's kicking it off with Milinkovic Savage from Lazio. Hullet Gang stats again. The big general in the middle, absolute unit of a card, with 97 dribbling as well. Yeah, so I think he has four-star skill moves on five-star weak foot, which is very, very, very good for midfield. He's obviously, as you said, like six foot three, so he's like a hullet build with crazy stats. Um, he'll yeah. be at the top of top tier, I feel. He'll be very, very good. Very good. Top of top tier, fair play. And moving on to another midfield maestro, we've got Brozovic, who's just pretty much a better version of Milinkovic Savage, right? Um, yeah, he'll be he'll be decent. I don't think he has the height of an English average or the skill moves of the weak foot. However, as you said, they've got pretty similar stats. It'd be just as good as in game, but without the skill moves on weak foot. So I feel like I've got to put him in top tier again. He's pretty similar. So, so do you know what his weak star, um, his weak, sorry, his skill move and weak foot is? Do you know what it is? Or? Um, no, nah, I don't know what it is. But I feel like it was like 3-3. Three, 3-3, three. Three, three, yeah. That's just not really what you want, especially no. as a centre mid. Like, you want five-star weak foot. So I think you're right. He's probably the bottom tier, bottom um, of top yeah, tier, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Most definitely. On to a crazy, crazy card, by the way. Insane card, Tonali. Like, 
It's crack. This is this is probably one of my most favourite cards out of the midfielders and defenders which have come out. What are we saying about him? Yeah, he is unbelievable. Um, he's got he's literally got everything you need to win. His physical pace, dribbling, passing. I'm pretty sure he's got an upgrade as well. So he's four star, four star. Um, wow. Yeah, definitely pro tier. I think. Yeah, brilliant stuff. And we've got a centre back who could squeeze in perfectly behind him. To be fair, we've got Kuabali, 95 rated as well. Pace, power, physicality, everything which you want in a centre back. He's got 36 shooting though, but he won't be striking any shots, will he? Yeah, well, the thing with Kudabali normally is that he's not very really agile, so he's not too good on the ball. Mm -hmm. However, I feel like they boost him a lot with 83 dribbling. And I think he's got similar agility and balance, which is unbelievable for a Kudabali card. As he, his strengths are how big he is and how strong he is. Um, he's also got 91 pace, which is unbelievable. Um, yeah, I'm going to go pro tier again, I feel. I feel like he, there's not many centre-backs that will be as big as him. I feel like he's just a, a, another Van Dyke. Brilliant start. And that's, so that's two in pro tier. I feel like this third one could potentially be joining them. We've got another 95-rated player, left-back from AC Milan, who links perfectly with Tonali. We've got Tio Hernandez, who's got a cracked-up card. Yeah, so with um, I'm going to put him in pro tier, and this is the reason why. I feel like Theo is... Um, so most pros like to play a three back and a four back so they can transition into both. And mm -hmm. I feel like Theo is the perfect player because you can play in a centre back quite comfortably because of how big he is, how good he is defending and his pace. And he also play four back um, in a four back with his dribbling and pace as well. So there's not much better than him to be fair in if you want to transition to a three and a four. So definitely pro tier. That's brilliant. Now we're moving on to the big boys now. We've got five cards left, guys. And we're going to start off with Vlahovic. 96 rated. He also plays for Juventus. It's actually our second Juventus player so far with Quadrado. How do we feel about him? What are we saying about his card? Would he feel like a bit of a boss or will he be good? Um, I feel like he'll be... How do I, um, I compare him to Haaland, right? So he'll be a bit better than yeah. Haaland because I think he has better skill moves than when weak foot. However, mm -hmm. he will feel like Haaland. So he won't feel as quick as a pace, card, um, a pace on the card looks. And he won't be able to turn as swiftly as, as, he, as he might want to feel. Um, so... Yeah, but he'll be a massive again. Like he'll be, he'll be lethal in the air and stuff. But yeah. top tier, just because of how big he is. Yeah, it's one of those ones where he's de he's definitely gonna finish his chances if it lands to his feet, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he'll be a lethal finisher and good in the air and stuff. But as you say, on the ball, he, he might let you down a bit. Brilliant. Now moving on to a card just had a superior upgrade. It's Berardi, 96 rated from Swasulo. I think it's Swasulo he played for. Yeah. I um, and he's got 98 pace on the wing. Yeah, this card surprised me a little, to be fair, because I don't think normally his cards are that good, but this team season card is, is crazy. He's also almost maxed out pace, dribbling and passing, which is unbelievable for a winger. I feel like he's got a decent build as well with good shooting and physical. So for a winger, you can't get much better. Um, I'm going to go top tier, just because top no tier. skills and weak foot kind of lets him down instead of pro tier. Cool, brilliant. So you said no skills and weak foot, so I'm going to give you somebody who has skills and weak foot. And that is Dybala, 96 rated, centre forward card. Absolutely disgusting card in my books. Unreal. Yeah, so they've given Dybala five star skill moves, which is so good because um, with four star, he'd be a bit like Berardi where it kind of lets him down. But I feel like with the five star skill moves, it, doesn't get him, it gets him into pro tier, especially with a trait that he has, which is a finesse shot, which is so useful because on his left foot, you just cut inside and just finesse it. And uh, he'd be very, very good at that. So yeah, definitely top uh, pro tier, pro tier. Brilliant stuff. And I feel like with this card, if you can't afford Messi, you want to go for him, really. Because I think he, if he comes in at the right price, you want to be snapping him up, guys. Now, moving on to the second from last player. We've got a Mobley, 96 rated from Lazio. Good pace, good shooting. Actually, incredible finishing, actually. 98 shooting on his card. Yeah, so he'll be a bit similar to uh, Vlahovic, but he'll feel a bit better. Um, it's the yeah. same old story with Mobley, to be honest. No skills on week for really letting <laughs> him down, but... In front of the goal, will be unbelievable, and he's got decent pace and dribbling as well. But yeah. as I say, he won't be able to move as well without the skill moves on weak foot. So I'm gonna go top tier. Cool, brilliant stuff, and ended it with this card, which looks absolutely stacked to pieces. Probably the best card out of the lot. But Rafael Leo or Leo, I don't know how to say his last name, but his card is insane, isn't it? 97 rated, nuts. Yeah, it's another one that kind of blew me away to be honest, because normally his card's quite low rated, it'd be a bit alright for a starter team or whatever, but this card yeah. is genuinely insane. Enough. He's maxed out nearly every stat possible for a striker or a winger, um, and they've also given him five star skill move, which is which is crazy with that card. Um, I'm going to go definitely pro tier, and yeah, as I say, kind of blew me away. 
card of blue eyes it is, it is a cracking card and we've also got one more special card which aa have actually brought out and it is the sbc kessie now what we saying about this card is he's looking unreal isn't he proper hood stats insane card yeah so kessie he's got an sbc i don't think it's costing too much as well but if you've got team season fodder i believe it's an mm -hmm. 85 86 87 which is which is not too bad um they've also boosted his skill moves and I don't think they're boosted weak, actually. He's got four-star, four-star, which is really, really good as well. And obviously, you can link him to these new Serie A cards, which might come a bit cheap. So, yeah, Kessie's really, really good. He was really good at the start of the year, and he, he'll be really, really good now. I'm going to put him in top of top tier. Cool, brilliant stuff. And if you've got a prediction who you're going to get in your red picks, let me know. Who do you think you're going to get? Well, I'm hoping for a Tenali or Liao, but I believe yep. I'll get like a Quadrado, Milinkovic, Savic, and like a Berardi. <laughs> so no Bremer? No. <laughs> All right, cool. Brilliant stuff. Well, look, thank you for doing the tier list with me. That is our tier list, guys. If you do want to keep up with Jakey's content, we'll put his link and stuff in the description. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you can keep up to date with our tier list tutorials and everything. And we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.